When we first heard what was going on and we, we were told to shelter in place right there at the beginning, uh, we did, we, we, we shut the stores down for, for a couple days. Um, and yeah, it was, it was scary at the beginning. We didn't know what we were dealing with. And so it was touch and go there because um, we don't have a drive through or any other way to really do um, the business that we typically do. The biggest thing for us is we've created a company that's all about connecting people in the community. And when you're not allowed to connect and be around people, that makes it really difficult. Uh, financially, we were down about 47% from where we were last year, uh, and we were projected to be even further along anyway. Um, but yeah, so it's, I mean, it's been, financially, it's been a huge hit. Uh, the, f the first month was probably the worst, and then I think as people kind of accepted this as the new norm, uh, we started to see more and more people uh, come in. So we're still not hitting the numbers that we need to, but that's allowed us to keep people staffed, keep people moving forward, and, and hopefully as we're slowly coming out of this, we're seeing things kind of level off. My name is Kagan Cox, and I own Kagan Coffee and Crepes. We make crepes <laughs> and coffee. Uh, yeah, so crepes and coffee, that's what we do. Uh, most recently, we've added beer, wine, and cider. We applied for uh, the PPP loan and then the EIDL loan. I think I said that right. Um, and we also apply for a grant. We haven't, we haven't heard back on some of the grant stuff that we've applied for, the one that we were looking at. Um, but we did get the PPP and the EIDL. Uh, the PPP was just for um, our employees for payroll. That's what we used it for. Uh, so that was really exciting to get that. Um, that kept us going. And then the EIDL. Uh, that was an, an emergency uh, SBA loan that we got and that's exactly what we've used it for. We've used it to keep our doors open. I, I think big thing is, is remember your why. why. Why are you doing things? You know, for us it's family first, community second, and personal growth. So th those are our why and when, when you're living, when, when, you're, when you're really focused on these are why I'm doing what I'm doing um, in those weak moments, it'll, it'll kind of support you, you know. So, we're not we're scared my wife and I you know it's still it's still touch and go um, but we love what we do and it doesn't mean it's gonna be easy anything worth doing is not always easy it's okay it's gonna be okay we're gonna get through this we will get through this this won't be the last horrible thing to happen and but there's gonna be a lot of great things that come out of this too I really believe that